We are starting with some good news tonight at 10 o'clock. A hit and run victim who was once on life support He's now home. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Your news leader has been following the story of 16 year old Memphis honor student Thomas Powell, who just returned home from the hospital. WRG's Alan Self spoke with him about his journey. If the police don't catch you, God will. And I guarantee you that you will regret what you did. I say I forgive him, but deep, well, my body don't forgive him. On July 2nd, a car slammed into Thomas Powell near his home on Brooks and Rochester Roads, changing his life forever. The driver took off without stopping, leaving Thomas with no memory of the incident, a painful reality his brother Micah often has to explain to him. I didn't know that he, that he was going to keep asking me about it because he asked me when he was in rehab and then he asked me again when we got here. I was like, Keep asking me about the situation. <laughs> yeah, I did forget everything, really. And I don't remember much. Even the first three days I thought I came back conscious. The crash shattered the Mitchell High School senior's leg in two places and left him with a traumatic brain injury. His brother Jonathan thought he wouldn't survive after seeing him on the ground. When I was seeing him leave the hospital, but he was you know, I was real grateful because, you know, the way I seen it, when I seen him laying on the ground, it looked like it looked like he wouldn't have been walking up out of the house hospital. While in the hospital, his family and the community rallied around him, offering support and celebrating his college acceptance letters and academic offers. Thomas tells us he's confident he'll fight his way back. If I was put back in the school environment, I'd definitely be top of my class once again. Thomas's mom is thrilled to have her son home and aims for him to return to school in January once he completes his recovery tasks. As they're still doing um, speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy with him. But she's left frustrated with the lack of answers from police following the incident and is now seeking justice for her son. MPD, they need to come out with it and get these, get these streets in order so these babies will have a chance to live because half of them got kids, they own selves. Stop telling these folks that the stuff that they're doing is okay because it's not okay what they're doing. It's not okay. Stop babysitting the issues. Stop babysitting the problems because it's not okay. For your news leader, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.